Welcome everyone to my hybrid Windows and Mac desk setup tour. I'm assuming you guys are new here, so a little introduction. My name is Shaq and I am a filmmaker and photographer based in Montreal. And this channel is focused all on tech, photography and filmmaking. Like a lot of you, I've been watching a ton of desk setup videos and I figured why not make one of my own? So let's get started with the desk itself. So for the tabletop, I got it from Ikea and it's actually a kitchen countertop. I believe it's called the Hamarp. It's a really nice wooden countertop and it's a little bit lighter than I would have liked. It's about 74 inches wide and about 26 inches deep. Ideally, it would have had a bit more depth, but it gets the job done for now. The countertop is connected to an electric sit stand frame from Ikea. It's called the Bicant. And at the time that I got this desk, it was one of the few affordable options that weren't extremely expensive. So for this desk, there's no fancy presets, it's just up or down, it's kind of noisy and it takes quite a bit of time to get there. And there's no fancy sensors either, so I tend to hit the little cabinet that I have on the side of my desk. As much as it still works and it gets the job done, it's something that I'm planning on upgrading in the next few months to year. To the right of my desk, I have a little filing cabinet that's yet again from Ikea. This is called the Adasin or something. I don't know how to pronounce it. And it's pretty good. It rolls. It has a nice little section on the top to store things in. It gets way too cluttered, but it is what it is. Sometimes you just gotta dump things somewhere. I threw in a couple of dividers in this first drawer just to keep things a bit more organized than the top section there. And in the last drawer is where I keep a bunch of my paperwork and stuff throughout the year. Moving on to the monitors on my desk, I have a 27 inch 1080p 280 Hertz monitor from Asus. It's pretty good for gaming, but for content creation, I'm not the biggest fan of it just because it's 1080p. But on the side, I have a 27 inch 4K LG monitor that I like to keep on the side to review things like reels or just watch videos on whenever I need to. The monitor arms that I use are made by Vivo and I have an articulating one as well as a extra tall one just so I can set up this monitor vertically at the right height so it can go over my desk shelf. And if I wanted to, I can set up the monitors in a stacked horizontal position. Cable management on this desk was an absolute pain in the ass, but I finally decided to give it a proper cable management job. So I ended up buying a power bar, a bunch of 3M little cable clips and a cable raceway to go along the back of the desk. So the first step when cable managing is to unplug everything and figure out where things should go. And then after that, you can start securing everything. What I ended up doing is I mounted all of the bigger power blocks onto the bottom of the desk using 3M tape. And then any kind of loose cables were all tied down with these cable clips. And then I decided to throw on the cable raceway along the back of the desk. So when I first put them on, I forgot to account for the monitor arms. So you'll see that there's a section that looks kind of gross here. And that's because I just ripped it off and mounted the monitor arms. But the raceway is extremely important just because it lets you route the cables around the table without them dangling. Power Power bar that's attached underneath the desk that has everything connected. I needed to upgrade the one I had before because I was running out of ports. So I have a few extra whenever I need to plug things in like my laptop charger. The chair that I use is made from Autonomous. It's the Ergo Chair 2 Pro. I've had the chair for about six months now and it's pretty good. Honestly, it's not Herman Miller, but it's really good. The main reason I got this chair is because I've been through a bunch of chairs that just wear out really quickly over time. You know, when you're sitting on a chair for eight hours plus a day, you want to make sure you're getting at least a decent chair to make sure you have the proper support to spend that much time at the desk. I gotta say my favorite part about this chair is all the different modes of adjustability. You can really dial in the height of the chair. You can move the cushion front or back based off the back support. You can move the lumbar support, you can move the headrest, you can change how much it leans, all of that. It's all fully adjustable and it's really nice. A few complaints that I have is that there's a lot of sections where you can have dust, so you need to clean it regularly. And the cushion is only okay. You know, like when you sit on it, you can kind of feel it wearing out over time. And I feel like in the next year or two, it might need to be replaced or something. In terms of the computers that are powering this desk setup, I have two computers, obviously a Mac and a Windows. I have the MacBook Pro 14 inch, which is maxed out for everything except for the SSD that I opted to only keep one terabyte in. Kind of regret it, should have gotten at least two terabytes, but it is what it is. I also should have gotten the 16 inch, but like I said, it is what it is. I use this laptop for any kind of content creation, whether it's photo editing, video editing, that's where it goes. As for why I pretty much max it out, it's because I don't wanna have to worry about, you know, running out of RAM, uh, not being able to multitask, stuff like that. It's honestly overkill, but if I'm spending $4,000 I might as well just spend the extra little bit and fully max it out. In terms of the gaming PC, I recently built this PC in either August or September. And for the case, I really wanted something small and compact that looked really nice and clean. So I went for the SSUPD Meshlicious. So as you can see, it's a really nice looking case. You got a glass panel on the front, you have mesh all around, and you get to see the insides of this PC. 
It's a nice small form factor. And honestly, I love the all white build. It looks extremely clean. So for the specs, I kept it real simple. And for the processor, I got a AMD 5600X. The graphics card is a RTX 3060. For RAM, I only went with 16 gigs and it's at 3666 megahertz. And of course, it had to be RGB Corsair Vengeance and in white. Very important since this build is all white. And of course, my favorite feature of this build is the liquid cooling. So for the liquid cooling, I went with NZXT Z63 Kraken. The main reason I wanted this, first of all, I needed it in white. Second of all, I really like the LED display that you can just put in any custom gifts on. It's a nice little way to really customize your PC to you. My favorite feature by far. This PC is really just to play Valorant, honestly, and whatever other games that I might pick up here and there, but for the most part, it's just Valorant. Now, before moving on to the peripherals, I wanna take a second to talk about the desk shelf. This is from Grovemade, and honestly, it is an absolute game changer in terms of organizing and setting up the desk. So before I had this, I found myself struggling to store things on this desk and keep things organized. After getting it, I had a home for my extra keyboard, my Wacom tablet, microfiber cloths, hard drives, and even a couple of extra cables that need to be stashed away sometimes. And not to mention this thing looks absolutely beautiful, especially when there's some light coming in from behind it. I also have some space on top for things like my XLR interface, my MagSafe charger, a book, a couple lenses, you know, put my headphones down, my AirPods, all that stuff. You guys might've noticed by now, but I have a ton of different pads on my desk. Starting with the Orbit Key, this is a pad that's made of vegan leather and felt. And my favorite feature on this pad is that you can actually lift the leather portion to reveal the felt and store away little papers. And one more thing is that at the top of the pad, there's a little tray that you can use to store pens after you take notes. Right below the Orbit Key pad, I have a Grove Made Merino Wool desk pad. This is the extra large version and Honestly, it's a little bit rough to the touch when you compare it to the felt from the Orbit Key pad, but it does feel pretty nice and it looks amazing on your desk. So moving on to the peripherals, starting with the keyboard for the PC, I have a mechanical keyboard. I believe this is the K65 by Corsair, and this is connected with a coiled cable that I bought off Amazon for about 30 bucks. Honestly, the coiled cable is extremely nice and I feel like it adds a little bit more personality to the setup. For the Mac, I use a Apple Magic Keyboard, full size with Touch ID. Touch ID is extremely important because I don't wanna be typing things in when I need to get another password. I just wanna use my finger and done. For mice, I use the Logitech G Pro X Superlight. This mouse is pretty damn nice. Before this, I was using the Razer Viper Ultimate and honestly, they're both really good. Hard to pick between the two. At first, I wasn't a fan of the Superlight, but it's grown on me. You can't go wrong with either of them, in my opinion. So moving on to audio. When I'm gaming at my desk, I always use my Hi-Fi Man Sunderas for any kind of audio. This thing is an absolute beast. It sounds amazing, and it's extremely good at pinpointing where people are when I'm playing any kind of games. The sound quality is absolutely amazing, and they look pretty damn nice. I had to change the pads on these recently, so now they're velour pads that I got from Brainwaves on Amazon just because the original stock pads wore out so much after about two or three years of use. These headphones I'll use occasionally on my MacBook when I really need to just listen to all the sound and make sure everything sounds crystal clear. But for the most part, whenever I'm working on my MacBook, I'll be using my AirPod Pros. For my microphone solution, I use a Shure MB7. This is pretty good. I would like to upgrade this eventually to an SM7B. Love the sound on that thing, amazing. So this microphone is mounted up on a blue compass just so I can move it around and use it when I'm sitting at my desk. And then when I'm not using it, I can push it out of the way so it's not you know, in my face all the time. Obviously, this is all connected to an XLR audio interface because you can't plug any of these things in directly to your computer. And all of you content creators know how important data storage is and how we can never have enough storage. I keep a couple of hard drives under my desk shelf, but next to my desk shelf, I have a larger storage solution, but it's only two drives. This is the Lacey Too Big Dock Thunderbolt. And the reason why I need this is because I need to store a lot of things across the year. So in my case, I'm only using about eight terabytes per year. So I have two eight terabyte drives that are mirroring each other. And I think it's called RAID 1. I'm not sure anymore, it's been a while. The main reason why I picked this specific unit is because you have the option to connect your MacBook directly through Thunderbolt and it can actually charge your MacBook. It doesn't charge the fastest. It's only about 15 watts of power from what I've seen. When you just need a little bit of charge to keep you going throughout the day, it gets the job done. But if you're gonna be working on pretty power hungry tasks, you're gonna need to use your MacBook charger still. To the side of my desk, I always keep my Aperture 120D set up just in case I want some light throughout the day. 
where my room lights are not strong enough or if I need to film a video like this right here. If you guys have made it this far, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you guys would like to see the rest of this work from home, office space, bedroom, living space, whatever you wanna call this, uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later. I think that's it. I think that's it, that's a wrap.